Hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Classic video. Now this video is going to be a little bit different to any of my other classic videos as this one is an April Fools special. So happy April Fools to everyone watching and yeah we're going to be taking a look at the April Fools event here in The Hunter Classic. You may have already pretty much guessed by the title thumbnail and the fact that there is a giant T-Rex here on the shoreline that the whole April Fool's event this year around in the Hunter Classic is the fact that we have T-Rex here on a few of the different maps. So we're actually here on Logger's Point looking at this one which we will take a look at a little bit more in a moment. But yeah, T-Rex in the Hunter Classic for April Fool's. And let me tell you, when I saw the announcement for this, I was incredibly excited. And honestly, I just couldn't wait to get out and hunt them and try and get one for the trophy lodge and get some nice trophy shots of some for my gallery. All of those good things. However, it very quickly came to light that the T-Rex weren't going to be easy to take down. And the fact that they weren't even harvestable or, you know, you couldn't even take a trophy shot, you couldn't tax them, you couldn't do anything with them. You could kill them, but as you'll see here from a screenshot from Avery in the official Hunter Discord, you're probably looking at around 500 bullets depending on the calibre. And yeah, we experienced this. Uh, it, these things were bullet sponges, basically. You could only get flesh hits because they didn't have uh, proper organ hitboxes or anything. And that led to a lot of people like me being pretty disappointed because why have the Rex in the game if they're not supposed to be hunted? And, you know, we can't take trophy shots or get something out of it. And, uh, well, as you can see from the screenshot that's on screen, again, from in the Hunter, the Hunter official Discord yesterday, we were pretty much told just relax. Um, we're not supposed to be able to hunt the Rexes this, this time anyway. And they're just going to go away in three three days, so just don't worry about it and then we saw this we could spend the extra effort to make the rex harvestable just to make you happy for three days or put this effort into the new animal what would you prefer yourself well i'm going to be quite frank here i would like to see the effort put into the event as well because the april fools event is an event that if you're like me and you really love the game, you look forward to this year round because the April Fool's event is normally really, really awesome. You know, we've had the Robits, um, the giant turkeys were a previous year. And honestly, I was expecting when I saw that they'd added a T-Rex that we were going to be able to go hunt these things down and get some kind of trophy to put into our trophy lodge. Obviously, I can understand the limitations of trying to tax a full-size Rex but me and my friends here, we talked about it and there could have been a few options, maybe like a tooth for the trophy lodge, some kind of trophy even, just for your gallery to say that you killed one, just something. And alongside all of this, <laughs> even if you did manage to kill or try and kill one of these things and try and hunt them down, there was also a huge number of bugs happening where they would go under the map like you will have just seen here. And this guy's actually going to pop back up from under the map in a second and then go under the map again. There was people really struggling with lots of game crashes that were happening. We experienced that as well with weird connection issues. Just a lot of issues happening. Um, so that was unfortunate because I know from reading through the, the chat in the official Discord, a few people did actually manage to bring one of these down and then couldn't even get screenshots of it on the ground because then their game would crash. Or they'd get, you know, pretty pretty well into a fight with the thing and then it would go under the ground, pretty much like we had there. And it was just a really, really big shame. Now, I'm kind of disappointed overall with this event because I personally do not see the point in adding something like a T-Rex to a hunting game without giving us at least the option to take a proper trophy shot of this thing. And when I brought that up with, you know, in the, the Hunter official Discord in the classic chat, I wasn't the only one who felt that way. But the devs, as I said, said, why, you know, do do we really want them to put in more effort for an event like this that only lasts a few days rather than putting that effort into a new animal? 
So there's a couple of things there. Um, like I said, honestly, I would like to see effort put into this event. You know, this is an event that we all really look forward to. The April Fools is always really, really fun. And I honestly feel like they could have just, if if it was a problem and they don't have the resources to fully commit to something like this, I'd have rather have seen the robots come back or the giant turkeys. Something that they've already done that they could just implement again. Um, but I just, I think it's really sad to, basically we're not even supposed to be doing what we're doing here where we're trying to take one down. This is not supposed to be a thing. It was made very clear that these aren't supposed to be hunted this time around. And that's why you could only get the flesh hits and the hitboxes were all kinds of wonky. Um, apparently there was only like proper hitboxes around the head and around the chest area from what I was reading, and apparently that was just because you're not supposed to be able to hunt them, they're just supposed to be there. And I really don't see the point in just adding something that's supposed to just, oh, there's a T-Rex for three days. It really doesn't make sense to me. And honestly, I just felt like, especially with those messages, it just didn't feel good. It didn't feel good. And I did have fun with my buddies here, um, running around and when we did actually go and hunt these t-rexes because of course we're going to go and try and hunt the t-rexes like i don't understand why that was never a consideration of course people are going to go and try and hunt the t-rex you put a t-rex in a game where there's not normally a t-rex we're going to go and try and kill the thing um and this was really fun but then once you've killed it it's like yay now we've not got anything and if you don't have the unlimited ammo pass, which I did end up buying purely to do this, you're just wasting wasting ammo, throwing ammo at these things because they're just bullet sponges, like I said. And I just think that was... Uh, I really think it was a missed opportunity. I feel like it could have been done a lot better. And I'm not trying to rant or necessarily complain. I'm just trying to give some feedback and also share my thoughts and I'd really like to hear what you guys think about that and obviously, you know, with the messages I've shown and everything, what you guys feel about that, I'd be really interested to hear in the comments. But if they made these trophy shotable at least, it would have been so, so much more fun. And like I said, I can see the issue with trying to tax a full-size Rex for the trophy lodging classic, but... I feel like there could have been a few options they could have given us, like I said, a trophy for your trophy gallery that you have in the Hunter Classic, or, you know, maybe a tooth, we said about a tooth that could go on the small plaques and platforms, because they have added skull mounts for wolves and bears and stuff, so why not just a giant T-Rex tooth that you can put on one of those little plaques and be like, yeah, we took down a Rex and here's at least something from it. Or I had an idea maybe of a little photograph in a frame that you could add to the trophy lodge if you did manage to actually kill one. Just something, you know, that would have been a nice little reward. But that was when I brought that up and, you know, a few other people also brought that up. Was kind of met with a little bit of uh, sort of criticism that you, why can't we just hunt something for the fun of it without having some kind of reward? But when you play a game like this, you, you're hunting because you want to get the trophy shot and some kind of trophy. That's why you're hunting the animal down in the first place. We're not just running around shooting things and leaving them on the ground normally when we play the game. So in my head, that doesn't really make much sense. But like I said, overall, it was pretty fun to chase this thing around in my group of friends. But I feel like it could have been done a hell of a lot better. Now, I did try to hunt a Rex down on my own. Um, I spent nearly four hours chasing one around on Logger's Point and I put arrows into it and a load of 4570 shots into it and the thing didn't even get um, to the stage of where it was wounded. We quite quickly learned that once you had actually done a significant amount of damage to the Rex it did have actual sort of wounded animations and stuff. Um, so yeah, I didn't even make that much progress after that amount of time on my own. Pretty much the only way to bring these guys down does seem to be in a group. So yeah, if you're going to go and try this, because obviously this event is still going to be running for a couple of days after I publish this video, um, I would definitely recommend trying to do it in a group of friends or maybe go into the official Discord and see if there's anyone who wants to go and take one down and try and team up. Because yeah, trying to do it on your own is practically impossible, I can tell you. Um, another thing that was kind of disappointing about the Rexes and something that made it that much harder to try and take one down on your own 
is the fact that these things are terrified of you. They spook. They very, very rarely go aggressive. The only times that I saw them go aggressive was after we had done a significant amount of damage to one. And you will see that a couple of times um, throughout the video once we've done damage to them. But if you just come across one, say you go on Bush Ranger's run and you come across one, it's just going to run away from you if it sees you. It's not actually going to come and attack you. And it's a T-Rex. It should not be running away from you. And that was the problem that I had on Logger's Point, is the thing just kept fleeing. So I'd get one shot at it, like one decent hit, and then it's going, running away. And I'm not being able to try and hit that head and sort of around the arms hitbox that it did seem to have. See, now I've done a pretty good amount of damage to it here with my friends and it's starting to go a little bit aggressive and that was the only time that, you know, people were getting hit by these things at all. And I just think that that's a big shame because, like I said, it's a T-Rex. It should be aggressive. Um, apparently they didn't want the T-Rex to be aggressive because they didn't want it to interfere with competitions. But it's an April Fool's event. It's supposed, you know, in my opinion, that's part of the event. With the werewolves, they come and attack you. And that's fun. And I think the same would have been true with the T-Rex, honestly. But again, that's just personal opinion. And uh, most of this is just personal opinion. But after talking to everyone, it seems to be a pretty common, uh, common theme that we were all very underwhelmed by this event. Now, there was no new weapon or anything that was added to try and help us bring down the T-Rex. Because, as I said, we weren't supposed to be hunting them and trying to kill them. Um, it sounded like they might do it in future and make this a better event if a lot of people liked it. Um, that was the kind of vibe that I was getting. But this year we weren't supposed to be able to go and hunt them or we weren't supposed to try and go and hunt them. And I brought up the idea of uh, why couldn't we have like a new weapon or similar to the werewolves where we have the 308 wolfsbane and then the silver bullets. Why couldn't we have something to take down the T-Rex? And once again it was met with, oh you want a new weapon to go and hunt an animal that's going to be here for three days? Well yeah, heck yeah I do. If, you know, we're going to get to hunt the T-Rex once a year for three days, give me a... 600 nitro you know give me something where i can go and actually take this thing down with some degree of efficiency rather than as you can see here making it lit up like a christmas tree with arrows um i honestly think that that was a really missed opportunity but like i said it it was met with why why do we want something to go and hunt an animal that's only going to be here for a few days but we have it for the werewolves so that doesn't make any sense to me um, we actually, uh, my friend here, um, Tyler Acid, Acid Monster, was using silver bullets from the werewolf event on the T-Rex, which actually did seem to work pretty well. Uh, so I just don't see why we couldn't have had a different weapon. Or, this was one suggestion I came up with, and I know I'm kind of rambling here. This is just all of my thoughts on the event. So if I'm boring you, please feel free to just mute me. Um... But I suggested why, okay, the whole storyline is that these animals have escaped and we're not really supposed to know about them. It's supposed to be hush-hush. Um, they were being bred to be sold or something and then they've escaped. So I said, okay, why not give us um, tranquilizer dart ammo that we can buy for like the 300 so that we could then go and kill it using the uh, sedation ammo and it would then you know it would be led there as if it was still a dead animal we can take a trophy shot of it and then once we've taken the trophy shot it disappears as if it's been collected to go back to wherever it came from you know i think that that would have fit the story and everything so again i think that that was another sort of idea that they could have done but unfortunately we didn't get anything like that but at this point you can see this Rex here that we've been shooting quite a lot here on Bush Rangers is now getting to a stage where he is wounded and he is doing some wounded animations which was actually really cool to see. This was the first time I'd seen a Rex actually get into a different animation set from when we'd initially found one. So I was really really excited to see that we were actually making some legitimate progress in bringing this thing down. And you can see how many shots are going into this thing by the chat there in the uh, bottom left. It was absolutely insane. The whole Bush Rangers hunt for this guy took about an hour. It was absolutely crazy.
Now, if you are looking to go and hunt a T-Rex here in the Hunter Classic over the next couple of days, you will find them here on Bush Rangers Run, on Loggers Point and on White Rhyme Ridge. Now, we actually went on to White Rhyme to hunt T-Rex a couple of times. And both times, the Rex died within a very, very short amount of time. In fact, the second time when I actually was recording, it took about 10 minutes, give or take, to actually hunt and kill the thing, which was absolutely crazy considering how long this one took to bring down. On White Rhyme, once we chased it up into the cliffs, it just seemed to get so incredibly weak that it would die really quickly. And we felt that that was really, really bugged. So... Maybe if you're looking to try that, try chasing one up into, uh, sort of up the cliff faces in White Rhyme and see if that will happen for you. Because, yeah, they were really easy to kill for us at that point. But, yeah, this guy just took so much ammo. And, uh, like I said, it's basically a bullet sponge. So if you don't have that unlimited ammo pass, it's probably not worth it. I started off doing this without having the unlimited ammo pass and I very quickly regretted my life choices. I was spending just so much money on ammo that I thought, okay, well, I'm, ju I'm just going to have to buy the ammo pass, which uh, you can own, you know, you buy for EMs. So it does give you a certain amount of days of just unlimited ammo, which we could then just throw at the T-Rex. So yeah, me and a buddy had that and that was really helpful for this event. But if you don't have that, I really wouldn't recommend going and trying to take one of these things down because it's going to just soak up money, basically, in-game money, um, trying to actually take it down. So after we chased it off the island there, it was pretty, pretty weak. And this is just the last little bit, basically, as we were all trying to gather up to get sort of the final hits onto this thing. And you can see just how many arrows it has in, in its hide, which we thought was pretty funny, just how many arrows there were. And even in the Hunter Primal, these things are not this difficult to take down. You can take them down with a few well-placed bow shots. But because this thing didn't have proper hitboxes and everything was a flesh hit, it just took so many hits to bring that health down that it had. It was just so, so, so weird, honestly. Um, but this is going to be the final moments of this Rex hunt. And then we're going to go over to White Rhyme and take a look at one of those hunts. But these are really, really cool models. Everything about this event was cool, but it could have been done so much better, in my opinion. And it is my opinion. I could be completely, you know, off the ball. You guys might completely disagree with me and say, oh, yeah, it's fine as it is. But I just feel like they could have done a lot more and made this a lot better. And I'm disappointed that this is what we got for this year's event. I hope that going forward the we get a good event um, in Halloween and Christmas uh, later on this year. But the April Fool's one does definitely seem to have been a real, real letdown. Because most people aren't going to even be able to go and kill one of these things. Unless you've got a group of people that you can get together with. Which I'm incredibly fortunate to have some really nice friends who, you know, would team up with me and basically agree to throw ammo at one of these things. If you haven't got people like that to go with, you're not probably going to be able to kill one. And I think that's a shame. Whereas, you know, the robots, the werewolves, everything like that, you could kill on your own. Uh, you just can't do it's not really feasible i expect someone will manage it but it's going to be so much so much time and so much effort and yeah i think it gets a bit frustrating i was getting a bit frustrated after nearly four hours of chasing one around while it was running away that was the whole problem if it hadn't been running away and had been aggressive would have been fine <laughs> But unfortunately, they are very, very scared little chickens at the minute in uh, the Hunter Classic. But beautiful models. The Hunter Primal models are really, really cool. And honestly, it really worked. That was a re It was a really good idea to add them. They just needed to change a few things and make them at least be able to have a nice trophy shot taken. But now jumping over to White Rhyme Ridge, and you're going to see how much quicker this T-Rex actually goes down in comparison to the one that we had there on Bush Rangers Run. Now, I'm actually going to shut up and let you guys just enjoy watching this hunt, as I know I have rambled a huge amount throughout this video, and I'm really, really sorry if it's been annoying, but I hope you enjoy watching this little hunt, and I'll catch up with you guys at the end.
So those were actually the last couple of hits in that T-Rex that actually brought it down. So you guys saw from the start to the finish there that was only a few minutes and this thing actually died. And it was really funny watching a T-Rex run around in this terrain. Really, really cool though. Um, but yet again, I wish we could have taken a trophy shot of it and got some better pictures because they're obviously being such a huge animal like this trying to get a, some kind of cool screenshot with us all it was pretty difficult whereas if it had been able to have a proper trophy shot i think we could have done a lot better but we did bring a few of them down last night it was pretty good fun and i really do need to say thank you to uh, acid monster who's tyler who's a really good friend of mine dilly vector and hunter man we made a pretty good team i think in bringing down a few rexes and we had a lot of fun um, doing it just having the banter and everything that made it a lot less frustrating trying to take one of these things down and having that unlimited ammo really did help with uh actually trying to get a couple of these down and yeah good fun as a group i think it could have been done better that's basically my summary of the entire event but i hope you enjoyed the video i hope i haven't been too rambly and annoying throughout this and thank you so so much for watching as always and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you